Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and watching this quick video. Well, today I wanted to update you and let you know that the check rain jailbreak does in fact actually work for the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 with the currently released version being 12.4. Now, for whatever reason, when I was first trying to record this video, it was not working for me. So I ended up just restoring my iOS device to a fresh copy and it worked on the very first time. Now, as you guys can see in the background, if you want to jailbreak with the check rain jailbreak on iOS 14.6 like this, you have to have a supported device. This one uses a hardware exploit and supports anything from the iPhone SE. Uh, the iPhone 6s that I have right here all the way up to and including the iPhone 10 so if you have one of those devices you'll pretty much be able to jailbreak forever so I'm going to quickly run through the steps uh, on this device right here later in the video we're going to talk about some new developments for a new jailbreak for all of the other newer devices uh, and also for this device as well too uh, the new jailbreak, of course, potentially being a semi-untethered jailbreak that you can enable via an application on device like Taurine or Uncover. Anyhow, let's start off with the check rain jailbreak coverage. Before we do, I wanted to give a huge shout out to our friends over at Surfshark. They have a fantastic VPN service. If you guys have been looking for one, you're in luck as we have an incredible deal going on with them where you can get three months free and an 83% discount with the promo code ICU at checkout. A VPN is great for traveling or whenever you're on a public Wi-Fi network. It adds an extra layer of security to keep your confidential work and banking data private, but it's also enjoyable to use with streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, HBO, or heck even YouTube so you can access certain libraries only available in other countries. And I say this in every video, but it still amazes me you only need one subscription for all of your devices. If you want to learn more, visit the first link in this video's description. Again, you can get three months free and 83% off using the promo code ICU at checkout. All right, so back to today's video. Again, if you have anything from the iPhone SE with an A9 processor, an iPhone 7 with an A10, or an iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 with an A11 processor, you're in luck as you can jailbreak on iOS 14.6. Go ahead and check out the links down below in this video's description to download the latest version of the check rain jailbreak as of recording, version 12.4 beta is the latest and it only supports Mac OS. Now for everyone else, do not update to iOS 14.6. In fact, stay on the lowest version of iOS that you can. A lot of things were patched in iOS 14.5 and even more were patched in iOS 14.6, which we're gonna talk about later in this video. Lastly, if you have a newer device, it's always a great idea to go into the settings app, scroll down to general software update, click on automatic updates and make sure that is toggled off. So in fact, you stay on a low version of iOS. Again, for everyone that's hoping for a new version of Uncover or Taurine or a new just semi untethered jailbreak that supports the devices on screen now, stay on the lowest version of iOS that you guys possibly can. If you guys caught my last jailbreak update video, you'll know that we are entering jailbreak season and we could receive a new jailbreak utility at any point now in the next three months. Aside from that, all you can do right now is save your SHSH blobs and stay on the lowest version of iOS that you can. Or potentially take advantage of this 90 day delay configuration profile if you guys have a device that is not the iPhone 12, if you've not used Future Restore in the past, and again, the most important part, if you guys are on an older iOS version, in order to use this, you can only update and not downgrade. So like I said, let's go ahead and start off with the check rain jailbreak coverage. It in fact does work if you guys have a supported device like the iPhone 10 or iPhone 6s, or again, any other device that's on screen now. Now, if you guys have an iPhone SE, an iPhone 6s, or an iPhone 7, the only thing you have to check is allow untested versions. This current version of the check rain jailbreak utility has not actually been updated for iOS 14.6, but again, after testing, it does in fact 
jailbreak just as you would anticipate it would. Now, if you guys have the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8, the only extra step we have to do is go into the settings app, click on face ID and passcode or touch ID and passcode, and make sure our passcode is disabled and face ID is disabled as well. And then the very last thing we wanna do is ensure that Find My iPhone is disabled. Right now, I'm not actually even signed into an iCloud account on this phone, so uh, that step is taken care of. But if you guys want to disable Find My iPhone and you are signed in, you just tap on your Apple ID, go to Find My, and ensure that this is toggled off just like that. So with those settings in place, we can go ahead and connect our device to the computer, trust the connection both on device and on the computer. So I'll go into Finder and click Trust, click Trust on the device itself. Uh, now that it shows up in Finder, we can go ahead and open the CheckRain jailbreak. Again, since iOS 14.6 is not officially supported, we have to go into Options and allow untested iOS versions. And again, if you have the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8, you have to skip a 11 BRP check. I typically like to enable quick mode when I'm recording. So with all those uh, check boxes in place, we can click start, click OK on this warning that pops up. And now our device is entering recovery mode. And once it's in recovery mode, we can get ready to enter DFU mode, hold down the side and the volume down button, and then we can release uh, the side button here when it prompts us to do so. Again, on the older devices like the iPhone SE and iPhone 6, we're actually holding down the power and home button to enter DFU mode, but just follow the steps on screen. In just a second here, you will see it boot up via the check rain loader. There we have it. And uh, in just a second, the check rain jailbreak utility will be loaded onto your device. So once it boots up, just give it a second here. The check rain jailbreak typically takes a few seconds to actually pop up on the home screen. There we have it. We can enter the utility, click on Cydia, click install Cydia, and it will download and install Cydia now. And once it's downloaded and installed, it kicks us back to the home screen. Now we can open up Cydia, again on the iPhone 10. Uh, apply any changes that it wants you to or identifies. We can return to Cydia and I'll scroll down and confirm. There you have it guys, iOS 14.6 is jailbroken on the iPhone 10. So those are the check rain steps. Pretty much the steps are exactly the same for the iPhone 6S, iPhone SE, and iPhone 7. We just don't have to disable our passcode and we don't have to click the skip A11 BRP check. That's only for devices with the A11 processor. So now let's get to the exciting part. Let's talk about some jailbreak updates for these newer devices. So like I shared in my last video, guys, uh, this is the history of when the last four years of the very first jailbreak and second jailbreak utilities were released. Now, of course, Electra and Uncover were typically released side by side. I just chose the first one that came out for the new iOS version. And if we take a look at iOS 14, you guys know the 14.3 Uncover jailbreak came out on February 27th. And... Uh, it's been roughly 90 to 100 days now uh, since that came out. So we could be seeing a new jailbreak utility come out at any point. And in my last video, I was kind of hesitant on suggesting a version of iOS that it could potentially be for. I mean, really, it could be for anything from iOS 14.4 to iOS 14.6. But in all likelihood, what is likely to happen is that it is going to be for iOS 14.4 to iOS 14.5. Now, the reason why I was hesitant in la my last video is in iOS 14.5's uh, patch notes, there are actually six major kernel vulnerabilities patched. That's a big amount, guys. In fact, even more kernel patches were done in iOS 14.6 that are now patched, uh, but I mean, anything that was patched in iOS 14.6 exists in iOS 14.5. Anything that was patched in 14.5 exists in iOS 14.4.2 and below. 
So it's always better to stay on the lowest iOS version. Just more kernel vulnerabilities exist that uh, an exploit could potentially be written for. Now, jumping back to the iOS 14.6 patch notes here, uh, one major kernel vulnerability that I wanted to talk about is actually this last one that was reported by Ian Beer of Google's Project Zero. You know, we have a major impact uh, where an exploit potentially could be written to craft a jailbreak from, and it was most importantly released by Ian Beer, who in the past has typically released his research 90 days after it was patched. Lower down on this page under security, we also have this other major patch done by Zerub right here. Uh, this is a, another one right here that is super, super important in the world of jailbreaking, and uh, this could be big for the jailbreak scene. So with those two major patches taking place in iOS 14.6, that means they exist in iOS 14.5. I'm much more hopeful that we can see one of those, if not both, uh, be released to the public. You know, in the long and the short of it, essentially what's going to happen is if they release their research to the public, they're either going to include a proof of concept exploit or they're going to include all the documentation someone needs to write an exploit uh, for that vulnerability. And with that exploit, when it's created, our jailbreak developers can come along and incorporate that into a jailbreak utility uh, for iOS 14.4 all the way up to and including iOS 14.5. Again, for all of the devices that Taurine and Uncover support, anything from the iPhone SE all the way up to and including this year's iPhone 12 series lineup. So, so any iOS version between iOS 14.4 and iOS 14.5, any iPad OS versions as well, we'll be able to use the next jailbreak utility so as long as we get this exploit, so as long as we, uh, somebody releases their information that they have about these patches. But I hope that gives you a better understanding, guys, of what we're dealing with here, when the jailbreak utility could be coming out, and for what versions of iOS that it's most likely to support. I mean, there really is nothing that has been released. This is all speculation right now, but, Things are happening, guys. Again, just to clarify, the current versions of iOS 14 that can be jailbroken are iOS 14 to iOS 14.3 with either the Taurine or the Uncover jailbreak. Along with all of these exciting developments, we also have a potential new jailbreak utility coming out called Manticore. Now, I'm definitely going to dive in and do a little bit more research on this before reporting on it too much, but it sounds like it definitely has potential. I mean, this tweet right here pretty much says it all. The jailbreak developers are really trying to rewrite the iOS 14 jailbreak from scratch and actually open source this jailbreak. So super exciting things. I mean, it's only better uh, for the end user if there's friendly competition like this. And the Manticore jailbreak sounds really exciting for the end user. It sounds like you'll be able to either choose Cydia or Celio, whichever package manager you want. My preference, honestly, is Zebra right now. So hopefully that will be an option. Um, but the people developing the, uh, this jailbreak are on to something really good. This team member in particular is working on a WebKit slash Safari based jailbreak for iOS 14.5. Again, uh, this will allow us to jailbreak via Safari, which is absolutely incredible. I haven't seen something like that in quite a few years. Again, all we're waiting on right now is an exploit for iOS 14.5 with everything that was patched in iOS 14.6. Um, I'm really hopeful, guys, that we will see a jailbreak for iOS 14.5 in the next few months. But that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. Thank you so much for making it to the end and for all the support. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you guys think about everything that's going on in the jailbreak scene right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you real soon. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.